all right so what is going on today youtube i hope you guys did enjoy the first two videos i did put out i did not know this happened literally just got home um after a day out and looking at some houses and bam we got the new vendred cards now there's still one card that is still not released is the uh number eight i mean it's the eight it's number 81 in here so we don't know if it's another vendred card so definitely be on the lookout for that but as of right now these are the cards we get and I'm definitely going to be going over it. So if you guys don't already know, if you guys already ain't, subscribe, like, do whatever you got to do. Help the channel out. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're going to be playing some Vendreds possibly tomorrow. Now, I did have a different video set up for tomorrow, but I'm just going to push that back to Friday so we can get some of these Vendreds and hopefully we can actually get some play testing with the new Vendred cards and stuff like that. But yeah, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into it now. The first card that was revealed is the Vendred Battle Lords level 7 ritual monster 2700 attack zero defense you can ritual summon this card with any Vendred ritual spell you can banish it one you can banish one Vendred card from your graveyard declare one type of card monster spell or trap for the rest of the turn your opponent cannot activate cards or effect of that type and if this ritual summon card is sent to the graveyard you can add a ritual monster from your deck to your hand and if you do send a Vendred to your graveyard and you can only use uh, each effect of uh, battle lord once per turn i like it i really do like it i definitely like it way better than chimera um hopefully this is a quick effect hopefully um maybe they didn't read it i mean right or they didn't translate it right it did happen last time with stuff wasn't translated correctly but hopefully this is a quick effect if it's not it kind of puts a little downer on it but I actually really do like it. The fact that we get um, a Shockmaster type card that just banished any, and it doesn't say monster, it says Vendred card. So that means we can actually play the new, I mean, we can actually play, you know, Vendred spells and traps and literally get this effect off, which is amazing. I don't think you guys understand, like, how hard was it for Konami to print stuff that just says Vendred cards? Like, Vendred Knights easily could have been, you know, the best like literally what we needed and we probably didn't even need four extra cards because Vendred Knights would have did everything it needed to do because you would have been able to search Vendred cards but we're not talking about that we're talking about this today I really do like the effect it is a stun effect um, that can literally shut down hand traps it can literally shut down traps it can literally tr shut down spells so basically we get this out bam and then the fact that it does not need to be ritual summon to activate the effect so I mean you can ritual summon one time it dies you can search another ritual monster um, and, but uh, I don't know about that part, but it's cool. I don't like the add a ritual monster because we don't need any more ways to get to a ritual monster. We need more ways to get to a ritual spell. So if it had the same, you know, pretty much same second effect such as Slayer, it would have been uh, even better. But like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. I actually really like this card uh, on the scale of 10. I would give it an eight. If it's a quick effect, it's a 10. It's literally the best one. You will probably take out a Slayer and put three of these in. Um, actually, I wouldn't take out that many Slayers. But, I mean, actually, I think I would take out a Slayer to put this in. But if you take out Slayer, then, you know, pre-prep gets a little worse. But, you know what? That's actually fine. And then if the name was, like, Vendred Slayer, you know, Dash Battle Lord or, you know, like that, that would have been just amazing because then you would have been able to search it with pre-prep and stuff like that. And then that would have been good. But... Like I said, I'm all right with this. I really do like this card. Um, the stun is very good. And uh, yeah, and the fact that it does replace itself when it dies, it's amazing for me. Now, in my original video, what I thought was next, I thought we were gonna at least get a level eight or a level nine is because I wanted to use at least all three effects or get three effects on one monster, but it doesn't look like we're able to do, I mean, we can do it with Battle Lord. We can get uh, Strides, a Revenant, and uh, the one star that came out. Um, put on this and it would have been a lot. It's a level seven that can whenever it battles and draw and discard You banish by some monsters and I'm gonna talk about the one star effect later But I really do like this card now. Let's move on to the second one The second one is the level one zombie that I was talking about um, <clears throat> If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish another zombie special summon this card from your grave You know banish it when it leaves the field and then a vendred monster which will summon use it using this card in the field gains the following effect your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Now, I do not understand why it has this because... Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. Um, 
I don't know why I said that. Uh, okay, well, you can only add... Okay, well, level one is perfectly fine. It's just like Striders. Striders is literally the best one to me because it just press on itself without doing anything. This one, you do have to banish another zombie, but if you got Spirit Master in your grave, that's a free pop and a free... That's a, just a free level one monster, so you can, then you can link it off to a Link Karibo. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, the fact that your opponent cannot target the card with card effects is good. Sadly, this is a level one because... You cannot summon Slayer, I guess, using this. And anything else with Revenants, you know what I mean? Like, you basically can't bring Revenants and uh, you can't bring Revenants, this, and something else because then you exceed and then you, I mean, you exceed the level and, you know, you can't really do anything with that. But you can do it with Battle Lord, so that is good. Um, I really do like the level one. Special summons itself, it vanishes, no real cost. And your opponent cannot target it with card effects. That's pretty good with me. Um, and the next card we got is a quick play spell card, which says send one zombie monster from your hand or face up from your field to the graveyard. Special summon a Vendred monster from your deck, and you can only activate one Vendred charge per turn. Man, this is what we needed, man. Why we couldn't just get something like this? This card is just super good. I really do like this. The fact that you can send zombies from your hand or on your field to the graveyard. Especially something I any Vendred from your deck. That's just that's just oh man, that's just what we needed. So now you will possibly play two revenants just because of this card. If you do play this card, which I definitely would play, especially to get a strikes out for free. That's just ridiculous. Not only can you like you can just normal summon goblins on me, send special summon a Vendred from your deck, like strikes, search with goblin zombie, activate full force. You can activate Crush Card Virus. You can pretty much activate whatever you want to do. You can get the Revenant Ritual Summon. This is a perfect card. I enjoy it. Not only can you, you can send Battle Lord to the graveyard. Like you can summon this, banish the Vendred card, call monsters, activate, wait, what? Your opponent, right? Okay, your opponent. I was about to say, you was about to, I was about to mess up. Then what you can do, or you can summon Slayer, you know what I mean? And then send Slayer to the graveyard, spell summon Revenants, or whatever whatever one you want to equip Slayer with. Then send the opposite one to the graveyard. Most likely you're going to be sending Revenants, I mean, special summoning Revenants off of this. Activate Slayer, dump Hound Horde, search another ritual spell, special summon Hound Horde by ditching something else out of your hand, and then go from there. You see how the combos already come up. I love this card. 10 out of 10 for me. Um, could have been a little better, but actually no it actually couldn't be a little better i mean this is actually a perfect card I, I don't have no problem with this um yeah 10 out of 10 for me the fact that you can do so many different ritual plays and the fact that it's special summons from your deck onto the field super good i really enjoy that and then the last card is the uh Vin the trap card which is vendred revolution discard one card target a vendred monster and one ritual spell in your graveyard special summon that monster in defense position and if you do add the ritual spell to your hand then you can banish this card from the graveyard, target five of your banished zombie monsters, shuffle them to the deck, then draw a card. You can only use each effect once per turn, so you can literally do it all at once, which is pretty good, I guess. But if what's the name is once per turn, which would I mean, if it is during either player's turn, which I really hope it is, Battle Lord, the Battle Lord's once uh, either player's turn which I'm kind of leaning to because of this card right here is because you can just target any Vendred monster special summon it. Um, you don't really gain anything um, by just special summoning like anything else. But the fact that it adds a ritual spell from your graveyard to your hand and then you can banish it to target five banished zombie monsters and put them back to your deck and draw a card. That's OK with me. Uh, I would really I would really rather them return to the graveyard and draw a card than put them back in the deck. But it's okay um it's pretty it's, it's a pretty steep cost to only draw one card but uh i mean i don't know i'm kind of in the middle of the fence with this card it is good that you can get a you know you can get a vendor back from your graveyard and add a ritual spell back to your hand but um the target the five banished zombies uh not really on that because a lot of the zombies you want back in the grave and not back in the deck because you don't want to draw them again uh, such as Mizuki and stuff like that, but I cannot complain. I guess I actually It's actually pretty decent. I'm definitely going to try it out all in all um, I actually like the new cards. It's, it's pretty cool um, For the for the most part of what we got. I really like in Battle Lord 
Um, I really love Vendra Charge, and Core is okay. Um, and Vendra Revolution is a wham. It's a lot better than the last set of support we got. Like that was crazy bad. What would we get? Reunion. Uh, we got Reunion. Striders was the best one. Like I, I love Striders. We got Chimera, Reunion, Knights, and Chimera. I mean, no, in uh, <clears throat> Striders, Reunion, Chimera, and Knights. Like, like what? What were they thinking? Like they went. Like now, this is what I'm talking about. Why couldn't this be? You know, the support we got. Like it didn't make any sense for a Chimera to do what it did. Um, this card right here, I can really feel like it's going to be really good if it was a quick effect. Oh my god, if this card has a quick effect, it's going to just, oh, it's going to blow the top off of Vendreds. Then we're actually going to be a deck to be reckoned with because the fact that we can just own our opponent's turn, um, wait, what, for the rest of this turn? See, ah, see, now if it is only on our turn, this probably should have said to the end of the next turn, but then, I don't know. But man, if this card is a quick effect, oh, that's going to be so beautiful. But like I said, um, I actually like it. I like this a lot more than, than the other one. They have a whole bunch of good, decent cards that you either immediately throw in the main deck, such as Battle Lord, such as Charge, and possibly one or two cores. Most likely one. Um, and maybe this, but I don't know. I don't know about all that. That, that uh, It's kind of not that good. But yeah, man, I actually like it. And then compare it to my last video I made, um, I did say we were going to probably get another Ritual a Monster. Um, I thought it was going to be level 8 or 9. Turns out to be a level 7. Somebody commented that below, so shout outs to you. Um, <clears throat> he did that. He did get it correctly. Uh, we don't have pictures, but I'm guessing this is Nemesis because it says Battle Lords. So I'm guessing it's going to be a big old zombie or something like that. Um, I thought it was going to have a destruction effect. If it is indeed Nemesis, I definitely th thought it should have had a destruction effect. And it does kind of recur itself. It does replace itself. So that's cool. Um, everybody knew we were going to get a level one because th that's the way it was going. Um, the only thing I didn't re like think we were going to get was a level seven because I was like, oh, what if we can equip all three? But level seven is fine. You can still equip three on it. It's just not the three you want. It's the other three. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, like I said, core is good. Vendred charge is amazing. I actually said that we're going to get I, at first I said a Vendred ritual, but then I switched it up and said, if you know if we we're going to get a vendred spell card and it's probably going to special summon something from the deck which is just oh i i love it i really love vendred charge and then vendred revolution um i i thought vendred revolution would add something from the banish to your hand i mean to back to your hand but it does add a ritual spell back but you know it does and it does put five banished zombie monsters back to the deck but that's not technically what i said so yeah um, the only thing, once again, and I feel like it's a very big problem with this deck, is adding, is getting to the ritual spell. That is the major problem with this deck. And we still don't really have too many ways to get to a ritual spell other than normal summoning either Manju or pre prep or hard drawing it. Uh, so we can't summon Slayer with anything else. I mean, we can, but it's not really that good. Um, <clears throat> hopefully. You know, the last, you know, the last little one is a level eight or another spell card that just says search at a ritual spell or maybe a different ritual spell, which would be amazing. Um, pre preparation of rights immediately goes back in the deck, I suppose. You definitely want to have Battle Lord a lot. Um, and, but it, that's the problem that trips me out. This card says you can ritual summon this with any Vendred ritual spell. So that kind of makes me think. That we're actually getting another ritual spell but i don't know right now hopefully that is 81 is there another vendor ritual spell because that would really help out a lot but hey we can only hope i actually really do enjoy this so yeah man let me know you guys thoughts down below i actually like it um tomorrow i was going to do a different video um, I don't know if I already said this, but I'm going to push it back to a Friday. We're going to be playing with the new Vendra cards. Hopefully, they're on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Hopefully, we got pictures and stuff like that so we can just test out and see what we can do with that. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. And yeah, that is it for today. And if you guys would like to support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click and add. That would be enough for me. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys tomorrow.